colonial governments we're going to specifically look at Jamestown, Plymouth, and Massachusetts Bay. All right, starting with Jamestown, a quick refresher. We've already looked at this in past quests, but it's um, they came to the New World to make money. That's mercantilism. And they're going to go through some hard times, specifically the starving time. Then John Smith, he kind of took over and was a dictator, and he pretty much said, if you don't work, then you're not going to eat. And ultimately, John Rolfe saves the colony with tobacco, and that's going to be what they use as that cash crop to make their money and support that mercantilism with England. And the Jamestown government that's going to start to establish is specifically going to be a house of Burgesses. And this was the first legislature in the New World. A legislature is just where representatives elected by the citizens in a Republican government vote on laws and decisions for society. And so citizens in Jamestown had to be white men who own land. But those citizens are going to be the ones who elect those representatives to make decisions for them. So we can see some similarities to Jamestown. The House of Burgesses in Jamestown was a legislature. Congress, our lawmaking body in the United States today, is a legislature. We elect representatives just like they did in Jamestown. However, the definition of citizenship has changed. It is now anyone over 18, or 18 and over. So we've broadened that a lot. 